I'd like to talk to you about ticks and tick control today. So ticks are something we see quite commonly here in the clinic, uh, really nasty, they're obviously not usually this big, um, and they can cause all sorts of problems. So I suppose if you had enough of them, the fact they were draining blood off might become an issue, but actually more of a problem can be if they're inappropriately removed and you can get a little infection or swelling at the site of, of where the tick head remains inside, or more of a concern is that the tick can spread a really nasty infectious disease into your, into your pet. Um, that can in some cases be fatal and actually with, with more travel across the Europe currently we're seeing more and more ticks, more and more different ticks and, and more and more risk of, of these diseases coming in. So just wanted to chat to you really about the best way to remove a tick uh, and what to look out for and how you can kind of prevent tick problems in the future. So um, we actually had a case in this week of a, a dog with a tick on it, she was absolutely fine but in order to remove them what you need rather than having definitively to book a, an appointment with your vet is something like this which is a tick hook that we've got close up for you uh, and you need to place it um, between the body of the tick and the skin, um, you know, at, at the level of the neck there. And what you want to do is, is rotate while gently pulling. So you don't want to just grab the tick and pull it out. You need something like this placed between the skin and rotate gently and pull out. And what you see is when they come out, you want to have a good look at the tick that they're still moving around and this head and mouth part still attached. And you can see on the video of the one we removed that, that we got the tick out in its entirety. Because if you don't, that, that mouth part can stay behind, which isn't the end of the world. You just get a nasty swelling and an infection that can form. Um, and obviously the sooner you get them out, the less chance there is of infection uh, spreading to the dog or the cat. But you want to keep a close eye on them over the next day that they don't get any signs, you know, they don't seem under the weather, have vomiting or something like that, because if that does happen, you, you need to get them to the vet ASAP. In terms of preventing a tick problem, then there are all sorts of, of ways out there. Chat to your vet about it. So there are spot-ons that can do fleas and ticks, there are collars that can do fleas and ticks um, and, and can keep, keep them from, from latching on. The tick prevention side of things tends not to last quite as long as the flea side of things, so you might need to do it slightly more frequently over the worst time of years for ticks. But hopefully if you're up to date with all your, your treatments, you shouldn't see too much of a problem.